in the last uh, quick tips tutorial that we did. Uh, if you uh, had a chance to watch that, uh, you may remember that we were complaining that uh, Edius had a goldfish memory, that it wasn't remembering the uh, project preset customization that we did. Uh, the next time we used the same preset, uh, it uh, defaulted back to the original Edius 6 settings for that uh, project preset, uh, rather than remembering the customization that we did to it. And uh, so we showed you a, a workaround to that. Well, there is actually another workaround uh, to this situation. And uh, if we actually complained to Canopus Grass Valley about this problem, they would probably say, well, no, we, we planned it that way. We meant for that to happen. And uh, so let's take a look at another way where you can create your own preset list that uh, EDIUS will remember all of the customization options that you choose. So let's go ahead and just uh, pick any profile uh, for this process and just hit OK to open up a project. And let's go up to Settings, System Settings, and uh, go down to Project Preset. And your window here should be populated with all of the presets that uh, you find when you start up your program. And you probably got these when you uh, first installed the program. It asks you to you know, check a few boxes there to determine kind of the types of projects that you normally work on. And then EDIUS provided you with these presets. Well, the problem that we're running into using these uh, predefined presets is that uh, EDIUS is not remembering any customization that you do to it and so that each time you use one of these predefined settings you end up with the default uh, settings that EDIUS uh, has provided for each of these and uh, you lose all of the customization that you have done uh, the last time you used it. So let's uh, go ahead and maybe just delete all of these. And so now we have no project presets. If we were to close this now and save this, next time we started EDIUS, we'd have no presets to work with. So before we close the program, let's create some new presets. And this time, any customization that we do as we make these new presets, EDIUS will remember the customization that we do. And then each time we use a project preset that we've created, we'll come up with a project that has the options that uh, we prefer. So let's go ahead and uh, click on New Preset. And uh, let's start with a name. Let's start with the HDV. I'm still doing a lot of projects in HDV. And because I have an NTSC camera, we'll call it NTSC. And just for clarity, so we're able to give it our own very specific name. And if we like, we can go in and uh, see if we can't find a icon that uh, best represents that. Oh, here we go. So now we've got ourselves a little icon. And now we can go in and choose our presets. And because mine was an NTSC, we'll go with the 59.94 interlaced, because most of my projects are, uh, have been shot in the interlaced format. We can choose an audio preset. Uh, I'm fine with the, actually the four channel. And we could check out the advanced. I think we've uh, done this in a previous tutorial to see if there's anything else here that we should be uh, concerned about. Our display aspect ratio uh, for these HDV uh, projects, of course, will be 16 by 9. Checking the frame rate is at 29.97. That's what we shot everything in. And the field order is correct. Okay. And then over here, we can uh, now select the, uh, the customized options that uh, we prefer when we start a project. And so let's go in and make these changes. Overscan to zero. Tone level to minus 12 dB gain. Let's go with two video tracks, no video audio tracks, no title tracks, and four audio tracks is fine. And so now we have a preset uh, defined the way that we like. And uh, when we start up a program now using the preset that we have just designed, EDIUS will start that project with all of the customization that we have chosen. And uh, since we're here and uh, maybe for the purposes of those that are brand new to editing, let's go ahead and make a few more presets using the most common uh, cameras that uh, people are shooting with these days. Let's go ahead and make an HDV PAL setting. Uh, if you're from PAL land, you might want to know how to do this. HDV PAL cameras. And not sure we'll be able to get something much more specific here for HDV PAL. So we'll just go with the same icon there. And 
Now let's go in and choose our video presets. And uh, if you're shooting interlaced with your PAL camera, you'll want uh, the HD 1440 by 1080-50i for interlaced. And the audio is fine. Let's just check our advanced settings. And everything looks good. We've got our frame rate at uh, 25. Uh, the, the reason why there's a difference here between frame rate and the uh, video preset, uh, 50i stands for 50 interlaced fields. Uh, there's two fields in every frame. And so even though your frame rate is 25 frames per second, you're wanting to choose the 50i if you've shot in interlaced. Now you don't have to choose the same settings here that I'm choosing. This is really where you uh, can customize and have EDIUS remember your specific uh, desired presets. And, uh, and so you really could go in and uh, select any of these options. I like the HQ fine. And uh, we'll learn later in a, in a later tutorial the reason why it's good to have uh, the overscan size set to zero. Now, depending on if you're sending your project to broadcast, uh, you might want to check with your TV station to see what level of tone they prefer. Uh, most, uh, most stations in the US, I believe, like the minus 12 dB gain. And uh, if you have uh, found that you like the VA tracks, go ahead and, and leave that uh, as is. If you're like me and uh, don't uh, prefer to work with the VA tracks or the title track, Go ahead and make your changes there. And then hit OK. And now we have an HDV PAL uh, preset. And let's just quickly go in and make a few more. Uh, let's, uh, many of the cameras today are shooting full HD. So let's go in and make some presets for that. Uh, we'll call it HD. And uh, again, NTSC. And depending on uh, the capability of the camera that you know that you're going to be working with, you uh, now need to select uh, whether you're going to be working with a 1080 high definition camera, a 720 high definition camera. There's a wide variety of HD cameras and so you might want to check your camera manual just to see what you are shooting at if you're not certain about that. Many of the cameras today are shooting a full uh, 1080 high definition so let's uh, set one up for that and choose our preset high definition uh, 1920 by 1080 at uh, 59.94i looks good. Okay, let's make a PAL one. We'll choose a different color, uh, perhaps the uh, yellow this time. And actually, the icon that you choose will have no bearing on uh, the actual uh, background presets. It's just a symbol. And uh, so now we need to choose a PAL high definition. And so we'll look for HD. Uh, let's go with the interlace setting for now. And if you know your camera is shooting uh, eight channels, you can check that. It's good. But uh, if you are shooting progressive, then we need to go in and define some presets for those projects where the footage that you shot was shot in progressive. So, so let's call it um, HD. NTSC progressive and I want to choose another different color for that and this time we're looking for high definition 1920 by 1080 at uh, 29.97 P for progressive and just confirm that your field order is at progressive and make any changes you want to over here But if you're in PAL land and you're shooting progressive, you'll want a preset for that. So let's make one for that. And so now we're looking for HD 25P. And here we have it here. HD 1920 times 1080 at 25P. And again, we're shooting progressive. Make our changes. And you get the idea. Uh, maybe we'll make one more. You might have a client that uh, sends you over some DV tape. So let's make... Uh, and you might have to uh, check the metadata of the tape that's sent over to know 
uh, specifically how the footage was shot, but if it's NTSC and it's DV, it's very likely um, you know, shot in the interlaced format, so let's set one up for that. And again, you might have to check, uh, roll some tape a little bit and turn on the data, maybe having to use uh, your menu options to see the metadata and determine how the tape was shot, uh, if it was shot in uh, the 4 by 3 aspect ratio, uh, you, that would be very obvious, uh, but you might need to check the metadata to determine whether it was shot in interlaced uh, or uh, the progressive, and uh, that would let you know what uh, options you need to choose between the interlaced and progressive. And uh, probably most likely if it's a DV camera, it was shot at 720 by 480 in the 4 by 3 aspect ratio and uh, at 59.94 interlaced for NTSC. If if it's a PAL camera, then you're looking for the settings down here for SD, SD PAL DV. Okay, we'll just do the NTSC for now at uh, 4x3 and just check the advanced to make sure everything looks good. Well, this gives you an idea of uh, how you can go in and uh, be very specific about the customization that you want to do for each specific preset that you want to make. Uh, depending on the types of cameras and uh, the way that the footage was shot on those cameras so that you can be ready to go with almost anything that uh, you want to edit or that a client throws at you, you have a preset ready to go with your uh, specific customization made to it. So we hit OK and now we close the program and uh, when we start it up now we go to start a new project We'll see that now we have just the presets that we have made and uh, with the specific names that we have given them. And when we start one up, we see that Edius now remembers the customized settings that we chose. And no longer do we have these odd video audio tracks or title tracks. And we're ready to go with a project uh, environment that uh, we prefer to work in. Okay, that's it for creating project presets that Edius remembers.